Do you know what the preferred method of travel for off-world was for these fallen angels, giants, and hybrids as recorded in ancient history? The same as it is today. Stargates. Stargates are basically a folded space device between multiple points in the universe. We've got Bigfoot coming through stargates. Satan, the fallen angels, and giants knew that God was going to judge them in the earth, that they had corrupted. How so? Because the prophet Enoch declared it to be so in the book of Enoch. So they fled to the stars using fallen angel technologies, as in stargates. It was these same ancient fallen angel technologies that we reviewed in the first part of this presentation. Those remnants of the pre-Adamic fallen angel civilizations remain on Earth to this day. Important detail, stargates are doorways between two places in the same dimension. Can be almost any size. Requires a huge amount of energy to operate and keep open. Prior to 1994, stargates could not send communications or data. Cannot change time. In other words, you can't go into a stargate and go back in time. Primary function of scar gates are to fold space so that fundamental physics laws are not changed. A portal is a doorway between locations and dimensions. Angels cannot occupy multiple dimensions or locations at one time. Only God can be in two places or multi-dimensions at once. That means omnipresent everywhere. Angels are eternal beings. They don't die. Giants and hybrids are limited to the DNA and their genomes and lineage and are subject to death. We're going to talk, ladies and gentlemen, about UFOs and their relationship to all this stuff going on, too. When it comes to UFOs, there are obviously signs in the heavens, the sun, moon, and stars. It's my contention that when those angels fell, they lost certain aspects of their former abilities. They had been able to fly without spaceships. I think they were kind of grounded by God, so to speak. That's why they created the technology, because they now have to use technology where they once had inbred abilities created by the living God.